Activision Blizzard players. <laughs> We're not sponsored by Sony, I swear. Or Activision. <laughs> Well, this is not a good one for Activision. Activision play, uh, Blizzard players' numbers have taken a tumble. Uh, and they put numbers like hips don't lie. Um, uh, but hey, um, monthly a active users for Activision Blizzard games have taken a tumble, dropping to the, uh, dropping to levels seen before the launch of Con Call of Duty. Call of Duty? Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Modern Warfare 2. Call of Duty, yes. Call of Duty. Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2. Uh, it's still a monstrous 98 million players logged in in March 2023, mostly playing COD, uh, which was down, uh, which is down from the 111 million players that they had in December. Um, it was worse uh, for Blizzard titles with 27 million players in March, down from 45 million. That's almost that's, that's that's almost half there. With Overwatch uh, arriving in October to big numbers. But facing a bunch of issues, not strictly relevant to the audience of uh, World of Warcraft, as has seen the drop of two, the expansion Dragonflight, the first in a decade, not to match the launch day numbers of its predecessors. So, it looks like they they invested big into these things, and they are just people are getting bored of them. I know because we just talked about people getting bored of them, and they're finding games like Elden Ring or Jedi Survivor or things like that just because they want. Everyone wants something different. It, 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 if you, as I said, if there's always biscuits in the tin. Where's the fun in biscuits? Um, that's the nicest term to to put it there. So, yeah, um, Activision taking a bit of uh, a bit of one there, and it again it fits with uh, Microsoft trying to buy Activision for the sixty nine billion dollars. And I don't think they're worth it. And I think if they hold on a little longer, they might be able to get it cheaper. And as I said sell off some of this stuff seriously sell off uh, just just take the activision chunk or just take the blizzard chunk or just do do something and that way you can claim it's not a monopoly you can get those games that you're missing i know that sony is 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 bitching about the fact they won't get call of duty but hey it, it it's uh it's it might work it might i don't, I don't, don't think know. sony's got to worry about call of duty it's, it's like what we've just said call of duty is not what it used to be it's the same as Battlefield's not what it used to be. Activision, Activision do have a plan. They do have a plan to try and win back Call of Duty players by releasing a board game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's going to do it, isn't it? Jesus that's Christ. That's it. That's it. That's it. They're going to release a board game. So um, Arcane Wonders announced a Call of Duty the board game which will take uh, Activision Blizzard's first-person shooter FPS series and transform it into a board game. I'm thinking Warhammer sort of esque sort of thing, you know, mm. with okay. stats and stuff. Set to launch next year, Call of Duty the board game will offer elements of strategy, tactical planning, and combat with its spin on the Activision Blizzard's, the Blizzard series. Blizzard? Um, the board game will take place across a number of maps from Call of Duty, including... Miniature soldiers, weapons, and uh, that star in the FPS game, the console like game, F Call of Duty, the board game, will include a variety of scenarios, gameplay modes for players to take part in, including some team based modes. I mean, don't get me wrong, it it might do well because, because, oh, as a, a board game, as a board game, there's there's there's, there's huge. Amounts of people who play board games, you know, there's a, there's a huge divide between people who play board games and people who play video games. Um, but that's not going to make people play that and then go, you know what? I'm going to play the next Call of Duty game on my Xbox. It's a completely different feel. No, game. There, go, how can you just introduce guns into Monopoly? Um, <laughs> so, yeah. I think it'll I do think... well, but it's not going to make people play Call of Duty on on the Xbox, is it? Sure, everyone knows at this because there is a video here. This, this yeah, video looks like. Look, yeah. Can you hear the audio? Yeah. Well, that was also pointless. Oh, come on! I was expecting to show. There's a bloody board game. game. Where's the board game? Where's the board? 
Give me the board game. <laughs> Where's the little figures? Ah, Where's the cards? Dude, we were had. We were absolutely had on that one. Um, I have the dicer in, in, in the shape of a hand grenade. That would be cool. I don't quite know how you would do it, but... Oh, I don't know. I'm trying to think. I'm just trying to think that. It's like, I don't know. Maybe <laughs> if you keep them in little rubber hand grenade, con grenade containers mm. when you put them back in. Uh, something along those lines. Well, um, ammunition? No, that won't work either, would it? I don't know. I don't... So, so is, there, is there no pictures or anything of the actual board game? It's just a box. Doesn't even it's exist then, does it really? It's a box. <laughs> no. I'm just thinking. I'm thinking it's a it's a Warhammer. It should be if they've done it right. It should be like a Warhammer game. Take turns, do your shooting, do your calculations to see if they worked or not. Um, and then yes, from there, maybe so... when you open the box, all those visuals pop out at you. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm lost for words on that one. Oh, 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 oh